fortunately, fortunately I'm here in father coaching capacity uh, this weekend, so he was just doing a guest appearance on the Stringer Machine yesterday for me, so not, not too many. Well, we're off in this uh, first girls under 19 semi final between Tori Malik and Leila Johnson. Leila Johnson in the black shirt, Tori Malik in the white shirt. I've, uh, of course, seen Tori play on the Brits Junior Open. I did not see Leila play yet. Uh, what can we expect, you think? Um, I think Tori's going to try and impose her game on Leila. Uh, I mean, as, as you can see already, Leila's got some great movement on her as well. Um, I think Tori's going to hit a few tins like that. But uh, no, I, th I think Tori's going to try and impose herself physically on the game here. Um, move Layla around, try and take the legs off her a bit. But it's not a competitive start so far. A few, few too many tins, but I'm sure that's probably nerves. Yeah, and for the viewers at home, I have, uh, and also for your information, I have uh, found a very nice new app. Oh, okay. It's called Squash Levels. And oh, it's, I know Squash uh, it's Levels. It's on its way, but it's kind of an algorithm AI thing uh, that predicts the outcome of matches, and I'm uh, actually putting it to the test. S squash I've Levels is very, very good, actually. So, so I use Squash it's very Levels good. a lot. It's a gr great app. And I, uh, well, maybe the viewers know, but I'm from Holland, and our uh, national um, uh, squash organization is using is going to use Squash Levels for the national ranking, actually, from January. Oh, brilliant! Anyway, I I, I put in Leila Johnson in Tori Malik. It says that Tori Malik has a 100% chance of winning this match. She probably will win 3-love. And the game scores will be uh, 11 and then for Tori, of course. And then Leila will get an average of 5.8 points. Yes, yeah, so, so basically all working out that uh, Tori has just over twice as many points on squash levels as yes. Le Leila would be. So, so, so 8,000 versus 3.5. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean... Uh, the, I'd like to think that there's more more than a zero percent chance of Layla getting a game, um, but squash levels is, is f fairly good at the same. Yeah, and, and just to explain a little bit, Tori's a lot better, and then even if Tori wins like three one, Layla gets a game against the expectations of squash levels. Then Layla will go up a little bit because she beat Tori for a game, it's and Tori will go down a little bit. Yes, yeah, so it's more done on points with squash levels. It's more more on points than games. So it would expect so for Le for, Le for Layla to go up in levels, she'd need to be getting more than five and a half points. Yes. Per, per no. game. So if she gets three consistent games of seven points per game, she's going to go up a few percent, and Tori will go down a little bit. So so that's the marker for Layla is she wants to be getting six or seven points or more per game to increase her squash level. Yeah. So, so, so it's quite good good to good to have those targets really. Long live AI. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, back to the match. Tori's up 6-3 now. She, she's moving pretty relaxed at this point, feeling comfortable on court, using all corners. Yeah, well, I, I know the, the, the Malik family do a lot of work with, with their movement and fitness on court, so no, no doubt they'd have prepared meticulously for this. And she's actually number one seed for this tournament? That's correct, yeah, I think Asia's number number two seed. Yeah. That's a big rivalry there, so that should be quite a far, far final if it goes to seeding. Rally. It's a very good rally, but do you see how, how at ease Tori is? Yeah, it's a qu quality length shot at the end. Just long legs also, but it's like one big big step to the corner, placing the ball. It all goes at a very, I think for her, low pace. Yeah. And Leila really has to run a little bit more, put more energy in. That's right. 
but it's, it's a good length that wins the rally. On that That's a good shot. So what you'll probably see with the glass court as you commentate on other matches as well, they tend to be a bit more dad yes, than, than the normal courts. So you sometimes have to put a bit, bit more into the shots, but the danger is when you do hit it really clean, sometimes you can actually over hit it sometimes. But if you get no, a good Leila length, did not do that this time, but no. a beautiful next shot, but yeah, she, continue. She, ro she ro <laughs> rolled that one in. So glass courts like this, they, they offer something for precision play. Yeah. Because the, the, the walls are very true on here. So if the ball goes near the wall, it generally sticks to it. Yeah, there's a big difference between the, like the normal white courts and the glass courts. Yeah. First game to Malik. 11-4, a little bit better than expected by scores levels. Yeah, so that, that would probably, if Tori carried on this trajectory, she'd probably end up above 8,000 squash levels by the time she's finished. Yeah. Yeah, so if, it's, if it goes this way. Um, interestingly, I spoke to Tori just before the match, about 10 minutes before she went on. Um, the serious matter of hair. Um, we, we had a discussion about her hairstyle for the match and how I could give her some really good advice. Mm -hmm. So for those, those people that don't know, I've got no hair. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she, she's clearly winning this one. There's, there's no advice I can give Tori that's going to help her. <laughs> Other than telling her to shave her hair off for, more strip, for a more streamlined approach. But that's probably not a good look. We are, by the way, here on the, the eldest glass court in the world. I, I read downstairs on the plaque. 1971 for now first back wall glass court that's right yeah a lot of uh, a lot of history on this court yeah there's been, been some been some very big names here i think the i think they, they used to hold or have held the british junior championships here before i think some photos around from 2004 2005 so almost 20 years ago on on this very court on this same court here so this this actual court itself has been here for a long time and we're off for a second game see if Leila can find some answers to Tori's game That's one of the things she should do, like quick pinches to the front of the court. Yeah. Or as a tall girl, when she needs to go deep the whole time, it's ki kind of tiring, I would reckon. Yeah, d definitely. And, and Layla's already shown she, she's got good movement there as well, so she can put some drops in and be there ready for a counter drop. You know, she's there ready to put that ball away. It's a good squash. This is what we're talking about with the count with the counter drops there. Yes, she, she's behind and ready to, and ready to go in for it. Ooh, there's a cu couple of people, including Finn, Finn <laughs> Wellington, next to me, that almost dive for cover on that one. I think if uh, it had been a little bit higher, it would have hit the, the referee then. I, I think, think so it. too, yeah. Yeah. Ma maybe that's the aim. See, that's what I like to see there, is quite, quite a few players at the moment are trying to go for the cheap stroke there, where they pull the racket back behind the player. I have noticed, now that you say, I have noticed that a lot of people just play on. And what, what Tori's demonstrated there is just hold the racket and just put the ball away. Don't, don't leave it up to the referee to decide. And it's a good, good quality in the player, I think. Oh, taking a wicked nick off the side there. Yeah, she's a bit, 
beaten for pace there a bit there. It's quite impressive. She, she, she moves pretty slowly, actually, Tori. And she has a very powerful hit. And I don't mean that she is slow, but she, she has all time to get to the yeah. ball. So she has... I think it's... Well, strolling through the ball and then a very powerful low kill shot. I think it's one of the benefits as well. She's got four, four older brothers that she regularly plays with. Uh, she's got Curtis, Perry, Heston and Bailey. Um, and you know she plays with them on a fr frequent basis when they're training at Cater and Crawley, uh, their, their, home, their home courts. So she's probably used to the power a little bit. Uh, it's almost like a clan. It is, it is. I think uh, in my home club in Amsterdam, we have uh, like a semi-glass court. And one of our competition matches, her brother was playing there, Curtis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a really nice player, Curtis. He beat uh, Omar Magid. Yeah. 3-2. Good win for him. Not a, not a good loss for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Dutch and the English get on well, though. There's, there's no problems there. They get on well. That was a nice ball. Yeah, really nice. It's a d difficult skill that. Trying to keep the ball low and soft on the on the cross court drop. It's a problem with doing that shot. If you don't get it quite right, it opens the court for the other person to put, put yeah. the ball away. But I think for Layla here, it's going to be it's going to always be trying to get two or three points in a, in a row going. So the ball stays nice and true on the wall. Yeah. Well, I have uh, n not the best view because my angle is pointed a little bit outside of the side wall. My, 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 <laughs> view, my view is great, so you can just trust me. I, I do. <laughs> it's, it's quite high up here, actually. It's, 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 it's quite a good angle to see the ball because because you're so high up, you can actually get a really good uh, view, view of it. And yeah, it I, like it, I like it here. I must say it's, uh, it's a good position that we're at. And we are always the first inside the stadium, so we can like choose what we want. Yeah, definitely. So, to love to Tori, who won this game 11-5, so still under the prediction. Better than predicted, so two points. Yeah, no, for sure. I, mean, I think the thing with squash levels at the moment as well is that it's been around, it's been around the England uh, scene for quite a while. Um, it's just spreading throughout the world now. It's popular on the PSA because all of the professional tournaments link into it, I think. Um, but I think in, in, in a year or two's time, I think once it's all bedded in, once yeah. everybody's used to it, I think it'll be even more accurate. Than I think so too. Yeah, I think... I well, think but I, think I must say, I, I put myself in, and I'm, um, well, for Holland, I'm number 27, which is quite accurate or quite what I would expect. That's good. But it also said that I should turn pro in three years. Now right. I am 41, so I, <laughs> I will be a very old pro player. So my squash level is low because I'm, I'm mainly, I mainly coach in string these days, so I only, I only come back and play if people are desperate for me to play and uh, it's a few knee injuries and things. Mine tells me at the moment that I need to put a lot more work in if I want to go to professional. I'm, I'm nearly 44, <laughs> so... Um, but until they became a bit kinder. So last year, I think it said, it would take me 98 years to, to turn professional at the rate I'm going. <laughs> and then, then, it, then it told me I'd be dead by the time it got there. And now they're a bit kinder and just said more work needs to go in. So in this, in this slightly more PC world that we're in now, this politically correct world, squash levels has moved for the times and stopped being mean to me. <laughs> Could rally this. Oh, some good gets. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, yeah. I like that rally. There's a lot of good things. Some Very good, good rally, but Tori seems very much in control. 
Yeah, some, everywhere some, in one step. Some, some good angles from Layla, though. You know, there's some way it could have caught her out. More of that. I like that. That's a great shot. Great, great kill there. So you wouldn't have seen that from the angle you're at. You've got the other side of the court better than me. Uh, but Tori just stepped in and just slotted the ball straight into the neck in the front corner. Oh, nice. Really good shot. By the way, and I, I also try and look it up in squash levels, but they have no match history. Yet. No, I, I can't remember seeing these guys play before. fast now for this game, 6-1 yeah. already. I mean, if, if I could say one thing for, for Layla that I've seen here, it's sometimes to be a bit, bit more patient. I think she's sometimes trying to go for the kill a little bit too early. She drags the rallies out and waits for opportunities a bit more. But it's difficult. I mean, Tori's yeah, a really good player. Mentally very tough. Squash again. Squash. Layla's being a bit, bit more patient with it. Oh, oh it's great rally. Nearly, nearly had it. It's good work in the front, and you, you could see the default for Layla was to try and go for that cross court drop again. Yeah. But sometimes it's just easier to try and lift that ball up to try and get yourself out of trouble a bit. It worked for her last time, but it's something which is quite common, especially in, in the juniors. It's quite, it's quite a common shot to play. That's good. And we have our first match ball on our hand. And it's done. Okay, it's good. good three love win for Tori Malik. 11 4, 11 5, 11 1.